That might be you whenever you're sitting there eating or drinking one of your favorite foods and out of nowhere you feel a stinging burning feeling in your mouth and you go up to the mirror and you look in your mouth and you see this small little white or gray sore surrounded by a little bit of red that's causing so much pain. Well, it's most likely a canker sore. And today I'm gonna show you how to make magic mouthwash that numbs your entire mouth. And it can give you a little bit of relief whenever you wanna eat or drink something if that pain is becoming a little bit too much. First of all, we need to make something very, very clear. Canker sores are not herpes. Canker sores, herpes. Canker sores, herpes. Canker sores, herpes. So like I said before, canker sores are white or gray on the inside and they have this red lining surrounding them. A key thing to know that they are a canker sore is that they only happen inside of your mouth. And even though they've been around for as long as we can remember, we don't know exactly what causes them. What we do know is that they normally happen whenever you get a cut or a scrape or something like that on the inside of your mouth, like on the inside of your cheek, your lips, your tongue, biting, or even brushing too hard. We also know that spicy, oily, and acidic foods can make them happen more frequently and more easily. Now, not everybody gets these, only about 20% of people, and I'm one of those people. So I know how annoying and frustrating they can be, and that's why I'm making this video. Like I said before, canker sores are not herpes, so it's important to know that they're not contagious. So if any of your family and friends comes after you and says, hey, I just got a canker sore because of you, you say, no, 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 no. Canker sores aren't contagious. Now I'm gonna show you how to make the magic mouthwash. And before I begin, this is a little warning, do not swallow this mouthwash. It can be dangerous, so don't swallow it. This also isn't something that you should use every single day, but when you do get a canker sore, and if you're in a lot of pain and you can't eat or drink anything, you can definitely go and use this. Now all these ingredients you can find at your local pharmacy, and you can even go up to the pharmacist and tell them to make magic mouthwash for you and they will know what to do. Our first ingredient is Sepacol or Sepacol, which is a lozenge for sore throat. Our next ingredient is Mylanta, which is an anti-acid that's meant for things like heartburn, but it's gonna help us here. And lastly, we have Children's Liquid Benadryl. Now I have no clue what this is gonna taste like because I haven't had this in a very long time and these flavors don't sound like they're gonna mesh too well, but let's give it a go. This one's cherry, this one says soothing honey chamomile, and this one's honey lemon. So let's see what happens. So what we're gonna need is one lozenge for every two teaspoons of Benadryl and the Mylanta. So we're gonna make a little bit of a bigger batch and we're gonna use four of those lozenges. And then we're gonna pour 60 milliliters of the Benadryl and 60 milliliters of the Mylanta. I'm just gonna take a plastic spoon just so I can throw all this stuff out later. And if you don't have one of these babies, you can just put it in a plastic bag and just kind of smash it and turn it into this fine little dust. That's good enough. Now we wanna add 60 milliliters of this Benadryl, and this little cup is about 20 milliliters, so we're gonna put three of these into here. One, two, and three. And we're gonna do the exact same thing with the Mylanta. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna close this up. And that's what it looks like before we mix it up. And once it's tight. And there it is. Oh wait, I forgot one more thing. So here I have some of the magic mouthwash that we made and I'm gonna try it, but before, I just wanna remind you guys that you shouldn't be using this stuff too much. And if you're having reoccurring problems with your canker sores, make sure to go see a doctor or a dentist and get it checked out. Without further ado, let's rinse. I didn't feel it as I was swishing it around, but my mouth is slowly starting to become numb. So I think we're gonna end the video here because I can't really talk anymore. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to smile.